Right, so today guys I'll be showing you how to set up uh, weapon shops in Altis Life 5.0. Right, so what you will need is an Altis Life 5.0 server fully set up, Notepad++ and Armor 3. So you might be thinking what, what files will we be editing today? Well, we'll be editing the mission to SQM file in Armor 3, uh, config goodness for weapons.hpp. <laughs> Make it lose with the unthinkable, don't stop till you come first Life's too unpredictable, take control of what you're worth Wasting time so Right, uh, so I originally uh, made this tutorial uh, But I'm going to be doing a voiceover because I messed up the recording So what you want to do first is you want to load up Armor 3 and uh, go into the editor Then you want to load up Altis Life or just normal Altus uh, in the editor. So while it's loading, let me just quickly tell you something uh, about uh, this recording. So, so what it, what I basically show you here is how to set up just a normal shop where you don't really need uh, much, or it's not very complicated. I will make some better tutorial which is a bit more detailed for you. I'll just make this simple as well. So you want to go open, then you want to open your uh, mission desk you have. Uh, which is that Altus one and uh, once you're in it you just want to uh, go over to where you have your gun store uh, mine is currently in Kavala so I'm going to just go from there uh, you just want to copy the gun store uh, range master which I will show you in a second Remember to check out my other tutorial guys on uh, setting up spawn points if you want to know how to do that. Uh, but anyway, yep, uh, so we're going to be copying the range master uh, and you also want to try to copy the uh, icon for it as well if you can find it. If not, you can just use a general uh, marker. It will be easier if you can just use the normal uh, gun store icon. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to just be uh, making kind of like a mini black market which will just be really simple. But make sure I'll, th this is where the gun store normally is if you're on just normal Altus Life 5.0. You can place this gun store anywhere, it doesn't change anything, you don't have to have put anything in the code, it's literally just wherever you place the NPC, that's where the gun store will be. So, what I'll, let, uh, so I'll just go quickly copy it and I'll be placing it uh, just on this corner. It's kind of a black mark, you know, uh, a bit less. Yeah, it's not really going to be in a professional shop. So, uh, yeah, just gonna put it on the corner. There we go. Uh, just make sure you uh, don't edit anything with it. Literally, just put it on the corner. I had to quickly change the settings here because I was lagging a bit. Hopefully, you guys have a better computer than me. But yeah. So once I've uh, changed the settings, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, going into uh, the range master. Uh, which is the NPC that will be selling the weapons. When I'm in there, we'll just be editing a bit of uh, code uh, to make sure it links all the files properly. We'll be using strings today, which are basically just it's basically just giving a string a name. Right. Uh, so, so what you want to do is I've just uh, put my camera here so I can uh, actually place the guy. Remember, you can use uh, Shift and then hold left click to uh, turn him around and. Alt and left click to uh, move him down. Right, so once I've got him in the place I want him to be, I'm going to just uh, put him down. And then we're going to just, uh, you want, what you want to do is uh, just wait for me to finish messing about and then I'll tell you. And then uh, now you just want to get that little like kind of gun store marker, uh, which I uh, put in on the top of that of a gun store. And then when you find it, I, I made it really hidden, but obviously it won't be hidden on a normal map because there won't be all this rubbish on top of it. But mine was hidden underneath that game logic there. Just have to zoom in, copy it. And once I've copied it, I placed it somewhere. There we go, I think I've just copied it and then just place it uh, on top of your gun store. Alright, there we go. After that semicolon, this add action, you just want to select that, then just go down uh, till it's till that. Uh, 
yeah, you just, just want to select because this is just basically deleting the clothing part, and then until you get to that semicolon, and then you just want to press delete. And then uh, now we're going to be getting rid of the thing that lets you buy a license from the store because it's not the gun store, you don't want to be buying a license on black market, that's a bit weird. So now you want to go uh, from where it says uh, after that semicolon, after faults, you want to go from uh, this, and then we'll be selecting something once. Uh, uh, you've just kind of, uh, you know, figured out that this is the right part. So there we go. Uh, this you want to select from this add action all the way down to the bottom, uh, and just want to delete all of that. And there we go. Make sure you've not left anything like I did. Uh, you want to get rid of that this bit which I left. And there we go. Uh, we have uh, selected all that. Now we've just got left with the bare gun store. And uh, what, what this means uh, that I'm deleting now is uh, that you have to be, you have to have a gun license to actually use the store. But I've just removed that, so the only uh, condition left is that you have to have a civilian. I will explain how to do all that more detailed stuff in another video. Right now, I'm going to be editing the string. Uh, you can just change this part to whatever you want. I changed it to just underscore black. Right, uh, now this uh, bit where it says quotation marks gun, just change this to whatever you want, it really doesn't matter, just make sure you keep it all lowercase, uh, just for the sake, just in case it might cause any errors. Uh, just keep armor for open because you don't want, you might forget some of this. Right now go into altis underscore life dot altis, then you want to load, open up the string dot table dot xml with notepad plus plus. And then you, I'm just closing the rest of my files here. And then you want to go into a uh, config, uh, which is inside Altis and it's called after Altis. And then open up config underscore weapons .hpp. Once you're in here, what we're going to just do is uh, we're going to be copying this uh, kind of class. This is the class gun for the like generic gun store. Uh, and if you're doing it for cops, I uh, will show you how to change that in a minute. But anyway, uh, yeah. So you just want. So, so here we see that used to say gun and it says gun in here so that's what it's referencing to. So right now we want to just paste that uh, once we've copied it. Right there we go. And now uh, the bit where it says class gun that is what you want to change with uh, that bit that you put in there which is just there that bit in quotation marks where you swapped gun with something else you just put that after class. And then the name is what you want the name of the gun store to actually be like black market which mine's going to be the side is civ if you want it to do it for cops medics you just change it to cop or med and then that's the conditions uh, i'll just show you how to do all this stuff in another video but right now i'm going to delete that because i don't want any conditions for other than the player having to be a civilian right so these are kind of all just the items that are in the store uh which are like scopes magazines and you know just the general guns so uh, what we're going to be doing is first we will actually be uh, editing I believe the markers oh, there we go yeah so uh, that's the string shops and it's got black uh, that's what you need to change to change the name of the shop in the actual GUI that actually pops up so uh, yeah, you just want to change that. Just want to remember that, and then we'll be finding that in the string table. If we go into the string table, what you want to be searching is uh, that, but you want to change it to gun, and uh, this will be in the description what you want to search. So once you find that, you just want to uh, that that's obviously for the gun normal gun store. You just want to copy that uh, this, that from uh, key ID to all the way down to slash key so I'll show you yeah like that and then you just want to pay repay kind of like you know duplicate that or else you're editing the code all right there we go so now we've got uh, the string shops and school gun you just want to swap that with what you were uh, added uh, remember the end can just be anything so it could be uh, str underscore shops underscore w underscore bobs your uncle or something just make sure there's no spaces anyway now that's what the name of the store will actually kind of be like when you use your scroll so I'm going to change that to black market and that's just for English if you use another language you just change what it is in your other language in those other sections we can just do it in original actually if you want but yeah 
There we go. Right. So now that we've changed that, uh, we need we're going to go back into config. Uh, we we don't need to close it actually yet. Uh, now we've done that, we're going to just quickly. There's one more thing we need to do: a string table XML, and that is uh, to do with the markers. So you can just change your double click on uh, marker. You just want to change it to what the variable name could be, whatever you want. Just make sure there's no space. So I'm going to just call my black underscore market. You want to copy that picture, it says uh, gun store. Then you want to uh, find it, that will also be in the description. And then, as uh, before, you want to just copy that uh, and then just paste it below. And then you want to drop that string, whatever you want to call it. And make sure you change it in here as well. So I'm going to call it black, uh, just for simple reasons, or and black underscore market. Then you just want to copy that without the at sign. And then you obviously you want to go back into the uh, string and string tables XML file and then you want to be changing the string the gun store uh, string to black market and then uh, yeah they just want to change that uh, the second line uh, to whatever it's going to be called so mine's going to be called black market there we go and there we go that should be uh, the string uh, table XML file done what I'm going to actually be quickly doing is I'm going to be showing that you can just use whatever marker you want it really doesn't matter so just get like the quick castle marker and then you can literally just keep it as the variable name whatever you want like marker aids uh, and then you can literally just you want to copy that tax bit and then you just paste it back into the castle well whatever marker you use and there we go that's the that's the string table.xml finished with so you can just close that now make sure you saved it first yeah. and also you can save the scenario because the scenario is done right so uh, what you want to be doing now is you want to go back into here and uh, we've actually got everything set up currently so you could have actually closed armor and then these two links at the top weapon class names you just want to uh, you can actually that that's where you basically find all the weapons and their class names those links will be in the description uh, along with the items class names for like scopes and stuff so you just want to double click on that and that will take you to the website and here's the website so on this website you can just uh, find whatever weapon you actually want so if you just scroll down you can put like launchers anything you want I'll show you how to find the class name it's just that thing the first uh, the second column from the left that's where the class name is. So I was trying to find a suitable weapon that I think is suitable to me to put in my thingy. Because this is my actual server that it will be going into, uh, although I may remove it. If you want to join the server, you can. I'll just uh, just comment below and I'll uh, put some details about it. Anyway, so I think I'm probably going to possibly be going for a submachine gun something that's kind of you know you don't need a license for but it isn't too massive there we go uh, the sting 9mm that's about well, say sting 9mm in the third column that's what it will actually show up as in the thing unless you choose otherwise and there's the class name which I've just highlighted you want to copy that and then uh, you just want to use in here but first you want to just uh, delete uh, if it, you can just delete like all those kind of entries here because I'm only going to have one entry currently. Uh, make sure that every, the last kind of entry uh, has no comma on it, or that other entries need a comma. So you see that none of them have any comma, but if I were to add another one, you'll put a comma there and then put no comma on the next one. Right, so then you want to go back into uh, that website, you want to copy that class name, which I've just highlighted and copied. And then you want to uh, where it says H gun underscore rook, you just want to, yeah, uh, and then just paste yours in there. This, what I've just highlighted, is the sell price of the weapon. I'm going to have that zero, and that this is a buy price. So I'm going to have that 6,500. And then uh, now, uh, yeah, and then now we're going to go find the magazine. So if we see in the fifth column over, these are actually uh, the magazines uh, that you use so that this weapon can use so i'm going to copy that and then we'll go back into our uh, config weapons and then we'll just highlight that and paste that uh, once again that's the sell price and this is the buy price so i'm going to change that to 250 and 
then uh, scopes, right scopes, so uh, what you want to do for the scopes is you want to go to item class names and then if you scroll down here we can see some scopes so I'm going to just have maybe the ACO red I'm thinking uh, so you just want to copy the second column entry which is the class name scroll down to class black which is ours and then you just highlight that uh, class name and yeah and as we can see uh, there's a bunch of other scopes that you could choose from but I've just chosen this one and then that's the sell price once again and then that's also the buy price and then if we scroll up uh, you can actually see uh, more information about how to do if you want to get into more detail but uh, the the second like uh, quotation marks are actually uh, like what you want the thing to actually be called so if we go into here that's what it will be called if we don't choose otherwise it'll be called sting 9mm but I'm going to choose otherwise for the sake of this example and I'll call it shitty uh, sub machine gun well I'll just call it shitty sub for short and if we look uh, up there again we can see uh, the final lot of quotation marks is uh, like the conditions so maybe you have to have a license to get this certain gun maybe you have to like uh, be a certain level well that's a bit more complex I'll show you all that in another video because uh, that will include more string tables and uh, so on so now we've done that that's actually uh, done so you can just close all that make sure you've saved it and then you can actually close it at that stage so what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be closing all this, putting all the files in my server and once all the files are in my server uh, I will show you it fully working hopefully anyway we'll be back in a second so we are back guys uh, I have just set it, put all the files in my server in the correct place and I'll be joining my server member if you want to join the server just pop a comment down below uh, yeah the password will be changed if you're going to be sneaky anyway anyway so I set it up for civilian so I'm going to be selecting the civilian slot anyway while the mission file is loading I'll just talk to you about some stuff so uh, obviously if you want to learn how to uh, set up spawn points for any side just check out my last tutorial uh, which was also on which was obviously in setting up spawn points anyway the next tour I will be making is on um, more detail on uh, setting up weapon uh, shops and I'll be putting in details about how to uh, set up uh, clothing shops as well in the tutorial after that and uh, uh, I'll also be showing it how to set up licenses for them yeah Right, there we go, it's just loaded, uh, just got this bit extra to load. Uh, anyway, make sure to subscribe guys, it kind of helps me out. But anyway, yeah, uh, so now that it's starting to load, I'll just, uh, yeah. So what, we'll, what you'll need, obviously, is you'll need a bit of money, you know, to go buy, unless you set the buy price to zero. And uh, 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 this should work. Uh, should be a good example of it working. Remember, you can just set it, you can put any weapons in, it really doesn't matter, you can just put any weapons in, call them whatever you want, although we'll not actually change it. Here we go, right here we see the two markers that we put on the map, they both say black marker, even that example I put, and uh, they're not too far away from where I have just spawned. Right, so uh, if we if we run over, I've got enough money on us to buy some stuff, poke could just set out zero for this example. But it's just down that road, uh, as, as I zoom in you can see the guy standing there, you know, looking a bit suspicious because it's a black market. Anyway, as we uh, run over, we will get a bit uh, happy, you know, to buy some black market weapons. Alright, there we go, look, as we run over we can see uh, the black market has just popped up on the scroll. Well, if we scroll down, on the, if you look on the top, top left hand side it says black market, look at the top of the GUI it says black market and it also says shitty sub for the submachine gun if we click weapons the 9mm 30 round mags that we added for it if we go in accessories got that ACO that we added up for it so it's all worked out fine uh, I'll also so, so remember next tutorial guys I'll be uh, showing you uh, how to uh, set up clothing shops and then the tutorial after that I'll show you how to set up weapon and clothing shops uh, in more detail It'll probably be a lot longer of a video I'll be like showing you how to set up them uh, with like licenses and I'll be showing you how to change like all the clothes of them and stuff.
which is all just in the mission at SQL. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Remember uh, to comment, comment any uh, tutorials you uh, want me to make. Anyway, uh, have a good day guys. See you next time.